Hello and welcome. Recently I posed the question, could aviation's new fuel be hydrogen? Specifically, green hydrogen that is produced by electrolysis of water using renewable energy. I worked out that if the jet fuel in an A380's tanks were replaced with liquid hydrogen, there would be a weight saving of 159 tonnes. The exhaust gases would be water vapour, not carbon and nitrous oxides. I guess I was looking at a greener future. Just days later, HiSATA, an Australian hydrogen technology company, has announced that they have developed an ultra-high efficiency electrolyzer, a major breakthrough in the industry's attempt to reach the commercialization milestone of producing a kilogram of hydrogen for under $2 Australian. Global interest in hydrogen has grown substantially as countries desperately seek alternatives to fossil fuels after pledging to reach net zero emissions by 2050 or earlier. Commercialization of hydrogen is seen as possible once it can be produced for less than $2 a kilogram. The two largest costs of producing hydrogen are the electrolyzers themselves and the cost of energy. Traditional electrolyzers remain inefficient, converting just 75% of input energy. ISATA claim their capillary-fed electrolysis cell can produce hydrogen from water at 95% cell energy efficiency. Companies including Fortescue Future Industries have committed to building electrolyzer factories. FFI has begun building a 1 billion manufacturing plant in Queensland and expects to produce its first electrolyzers early next year, that's 2023. ISATA is a company spun out of the University of Wollongong to commercialise breakthrough Australian hydrogen electrolyzer technology. The university's professor, Jerry Swigers, leads the ARC Centre of Excellence for Electromaterial Science. The Australian government's the Clean Energy Finance Corporation support this work and the UK headquarters IP group have invested $5 million. Professor Huygo said, inexpensive green hydrogen is needed for decarbonisation of multiple industries to put us on a path to net zero by 2050. Paul Barrett, Head of Physical Sciences at IP Group Australia and High Satter Interim CEO said, HiSATA represents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to reshape an industry. Michael Molinari, IP Group Australia Managing Director said, We have been looking globally for new technology that can unlock the trillion dollar opportunity in hydrogen. Green hydrogen is widely acknowledged to be a crucial part of reaching net zero emissions globally with the potential to meet up to 20% of energy demand in a net zero global economy. Green hydrogen enables decarbonisation of hard to abate sectors with potential applications including steel, heavy transport, shipping, aviation, chemicals, seasonal storage in the electricity sector and gas grids. It also represents an enormous economic opportunity with global demand of trillions of dollars expected by 2050. Hydrogen and derivatives like ammonia represent a multi-billion dollar export opportunity for Australia due to its excellent renewable energy resources, ample land and established status as a leading energy exporter. Let us not forget that it is hydrogen, whether we know it or not, that provides this planet with all of our energy that we need from the sun. The sun's hydrogen undergoes nuclear fusion to emit huge energy, whereas here on Earth, hydrogen more modestly releases energy during oxidation. <coughs> Problems remain to be solved, including storage and transport of hydrogen. I have no doubt solutions will be found. Thank you for watching. 
comment if you will, like and subscribe to promote content.